My name is Boris Diemeler. I'm a professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Structural Biology at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. My primary area of research is analytical ultracentrifugation. So analytical ultracentrifugation is used for studying the sedimentation and the diffusion behavior of these molecules. And we develop software that can extract this information from the data. There are multiple techniques used in analytical ultracentrifugation. Most of our work focuses on the sedimentation velocity experiment, which is more complicated to model. But in the end, it'll give you more information. The analysis that we're doing when we analyze experimental data uh, is based on first principles. Every observable signal that comes out of the machine can be interpreted exactly by differential equations, mathematical descriptions, and physical models that explain what's going on in the experiment. The Optima AUC offers us great innovations in terms of speed and data quality. These improvements in precision translate directly into the ability to do new experiments that give us information that we previously were not able to collect. Many of the problems that we're looking at uh, focus on interactions between nucleic acids and proteins. Nucleic acids and proteins have very different optical properties. It is possible with the new instrument to look at the optical properties of these molecules that are sedimenting and get an orthogonal measurement of this experiment where we can also separate based on their optical properties. So now we get essentially a second dimension of information that previously was not available. This opens the door to many important applications where interactions between dissimilar molecules are measured. The most beneficial to my research in the new instrument is the increased precision and the uh, increased speed and the ability to do multi-wavelength experiments. And these improvements in precision translate directly into the ability to do new experiments that give us information that we previously were not able to collect. And so I expect with that new instrument, we will be able to really open the door to a wealth of new research that previously was not accessible. The other um, part that I really like is the excellent support that I get from the technical staff, the field engineers that come and service our instrument. That support has been phenomenal. There is no other uh, device that I ever owned that is serviced as well as the Beckman Instruments. We're not hardware people. We don't really build hardware. We build software. And so we really needed improvement in the hardware to then be challenged to do the next uh, improvement in our software. We had reached sort of this limit. You couldn't really push any further. Now with the Optima AUC, the challenge is back on. 